Hey guys, it's Anthony. Um, I recently got a uh, Master 178 uh, padlock and uh, it didn't actually come with these keys. Uh, I had to uh, order those separately. Um, so it's a cutaway padlock, so that might be why. Um, but, uh, so my initial thought was, all right, oh look, there's a little uh, key hole for the reset key. And so I looked online and saw that people had little reset keys like this and uh, I said oh well, no problem I can make that so I took a paper clip and stuck it in and that did not work uh, I just didn't have the force it wasn't catching the right thing so that was silly and much to my surprise there was no uh, DIY make your own reset key for the master 178 so um just for anyone else who has this question, uh, I figured even though I have solved the problem for myself, I would make something uh, for a little DIY uh, version of this. So what I came up with was uh, basically, uh, I kind of documented it. So uh, to start with a master uh, M1 key, which you can get from any hardware store uh, or locksmith, um, and get a few just in case you mess it up and bend the key or something in the following process. Um, and so basically just to talk you through it, so uh, I took, um, basically you're, you're gonna start with this side because you can see kind of the, the blade here. Uh, you don't need this, I'm just, I just have that in my hand. But uh, basically I took a ruler um, and went so, the next step is to measure five lines from the tip. So, and then you make a vertical mark. So like up there, uh, and then from that mark, you go four more lines, make another mark. So now you have two marks, one at five lines, five millimeters, and then another four in. Uh, and then you turn it, turn the ruler and you go, uh, basically now you're measuring two lines up two millimeters up on the two vertical lines and drawing a connection. And so what you end up with is kind of a tooth. Um, so uh, basically this is the five lines in, the five millimeters. This is the additional four millimeters and then turned it sideways and that's two millimeters up. And again, this is uh, two millimeters up from here, which is sort of the, the base of the, the blade. Um, and I basically, having made that kind of tooth shape, I blacked everything out, uh, and that is what I then took off with um, a file, or you can also use a grinder or a Dremel. Um, so, uh, and then that leads kind of leaves kind of a tooth uh, shape. So, let's see, so uh, measure two lines up. So. Yeah, so five lines in, then another four lines, then two lines up to make the tooth, then black out everything else. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so you remove all the black lines and then you end up with uh, uh, basically the tooth. But what I found, I thought I was done at that point. What I found was when I went to stick it in here, uh, that it still would not fit. So uh, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to mimic this. Uh, I know that you gotta see it better. So I'm trying to mimic this or you know get relatively close. It won't go in all the way because it's not open, um, but it will go in more when it's open. But basically I couldn't even fit it in to that hole. So what I discovered is I also had to take off uh, one millimeter from the bottom of the key. Uh, which is a little harder to measure on this side of the key. Uh, but if you turn it over, uh, basically it's this kind of just this little ridge at the bottom, really. So I kind of blacked it out here, but then I also measured it on this side. So it's actually easier to grind it or file it off from this side because basically you're just kind of uh, getting rid of this bottom lip. It's a little easier to see. From this side, you're just getting rid of this bottom lip. Uh, so uh, once you do that, I found it. what's left actually will fit in that keyway. Uh, and so I have a version that I just dropped on the floor because of the law of keys. 
Um, anyway, so let's see. So just to, so you grind off uh, point 0.1 from the bottom. And then I also found it was very sharp at the end when I did that. So I took a file and I kind of uh, softened a little bit, rounded off a little bit here. Uh, this isn't the most amazing key. If I did it a second time, it would be better, but I just wanted to get this video made. So, um, but yeah, so uh, what I came up with was close enough to the actual key. Um, yeah, what you can see, so I'll go like that. Uh, and yeah, so the default combination is, let's see. I forgot the rounding off of the tip and that's why I added it there. Um, but the, so, so by default the combination it comes with is zero, 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 zero. Uh, so you press it and this little thing comes up. Uh, now it's open now, this will go in. Uh, and so the, the trick with this and the re possibly the reason the paper clip doesn't work is it really does need this notch at the end to push something in inside. So, you go here, uh, it goes in further than it did before it was unlocked. Now you have to actually uh, push. So you push in with a little effort, then you can turn it clockwise 90 degrees, and now you can change the combination. We'll do it to 1111 just to show that that is the proper way to do it with the proper reset key. Now you can undo it and these are a little tricky, these locks. It doesn't actually close until you do this, which forces that thing back down inside. Uh, so now it's locked. And now we want to change it with the hackity hack uh, DIY key. So we'll do this, pop it open, voila. I know it's voila. Uh, and where's our hackity hack key? So where is it? Okay, so now here, it just barely fits in. Um, push in, turn, and my hacky hack key didn't go all the way, but it did go enough for me, and I kind of held it with my finger, uh, but it did enough. So now we'll do two, 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 two. Come on, jerk. All right, two, 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 two. You know what, we'll do three, 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 three. Why not? Let's go crazy. Okay, all right, then just like the regular key, we undo it, pull it out, and it won't stay shut because, oh, maybe, well, I guess, hmm, that's, I guess it just, all right, so, wait a minute, I thought three, 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 three. Uh-oh, did I not change it? That would be crappy. Maybe I, un maybe I let go of it when it's on the twos, huh. This is real world fun here. Maybe that's what I did. Uh, I do not want to have to re-record this whole thing. Okay, so that didn't actually work. That is the first time that's happened to me, believe it or not. So let's try it again. Maybe I didn't hold it in the 90 degree position. So I push in, I turn, now I'm holding it. I only have to hold it with my little hackity hack key. If I cut it better, because this is kind of a work in progress. Uh, all right, let's change it to three, 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 three. Do not make a liar out of me, jerks. Okay, three, three, three. Oh, was that was it not really on? It's hard to do this over the around the camera. The YouTubers lament. All right, now, all right, now I have a little more confidence. Good, yeah, okay, so now it, I don't know. Okay, so now it's caught. All right, good, it's locked. Blah, 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 blah. All right, great, it's locked, wonderful. And now we'll go back to three, 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 three. Okay, well, I guess they say you learn more from your mistakes than your successes, so. Three, 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 three. There we go, so. Uh, believe it or not, I actually did not take calipers and measure the official reset key. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't do that. Maybe I used the ruler. Um, but the actual specs are slightly off from what I was talking about. Um, so zero, let's zero this thing out. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but we'll do the edge to the beginning of the tooth. Is 
That's uh, a little, it's about three and a half. Looks like it's about three and a half millimeters. That's, yeah, maybe, ish. It's a little hard to tell, uh, but I think it's around, yeah, it's close to four. And I was doing five, uh, but my blade tip went further. And then I subsequently rounded it off. So that could explain why that's good enough or the tolerances inside the lock just don't matter. But that's kind of my theory because I was saying this ends up being kind of sharp on the edge here. And then I said, you know, filing off at the end. So maybe that accounts for the extra millimeter. Uh, and then I measured this, the actual tooth. And it ended up as, I think I, think I had four lines and this ends up about, about three and a half. So my tooth is slightly bigger than the official one, which is just shy of three and a half, actually like three and a quarter. Um, and then the rest of the blade, I don't think really matters quite so much. It did seem pretty similar uh, to the length here. So if you look at that, it's definitely seemed close enough. So I'm pretty confident that's okay. I mean, I could measure it just for the sake of the video, but I'm pretty okay with that. It's just about eight millimeters to the shoulder. So, uh, but we did see it in use. It was good enough. Um, you know, it is brass. It does look a little thin there. I don't know, you know, how rough you want to be with it, but it did work. Uh, and you wouldn't have to go buy this. I think this was like, it's supposed to be $10 for two and they apparently threw an extra, uh, an extra one in. So, uh, yeah, there you go. It was the, the video that I wish I had had. Uh, so once again, get an M1. My method was five millimeters from the edge, make a vertical mark, measure another four millimeters, uh, make another vertical mark, then turn your ruler uh, 90 degrees. So measure from the base of the blade up two millimeters on each of those marks, then draw a little side thing across. Uh, and that makes a little tooth. Um, and I'll find my other key. Uh, and then black out everything around that tooth. Uh, then, uh, yeah, and then after you've blacked it out, grind it out or file it out. You can use a key machine if you have one, of course. Um, and then you also have to do one millimeter in the bottom uh, just to make it thin enough, which is a little easier if you turn the key the other side and you just give me that bottom lip. Um, uh, round off the tip uh, to make it closer to the original uh, and then do the standard, open the lock. Uh, and the big thing is that you have to push in and that's why the, the paperclip method I, I feel fails in addition to it not really being strong enough. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, again, the video that I wish that uh, I had found, but hopefully it will help someone else out. All right, uh, thanks a lot.